peacocks. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Hello, Boba. It's been, it feels like it's been a while since we last spoke. My O's. She's oh, been across my. so many uh, different time zones and existed in different time zones and then existed in Las Vegas, which is completely its own oh, time it's, zone. Yeah, it's like I was over in San Diego and then Las Vegas, and that is eight hours behind my usual time. Mm -hmm. And it, yeah, San Diego was a trip, but then Vegas was just crazy. It's, it is like a different planet, that place. It's unreal. Um, and I ate a lot and it was fantastic. Uh, yes. Got some, lots of, lots of delicious things to talk about and uh, reminisce over. Um, and I'm very excited. So, yes. well, go yeah. over a few, go over a few things, especially like my impression of the American cuisine as well. Now that I've tried it firsthand from mm -hmm. a horse's mouth. You ate out of a horse's mouth. I don't think that's, <laughs> I mean. Is that not normal? I think somebody, <laughs> I think somebody tricked you a little bit. Uh, it will be a special. This is a, cust a customary tradition. <laughs> a special episode of Feels on Meals. This will be Ozzy's american uh food trip that will be just i was just gonna tell me about all the food she ate i'll see if i have any uh experience eating these kinds ah. of foods or what we'll go through yeah. it we'll see everything it's like um guy fieri's dive dr dr d diners, diners drive-ins drive and dives and dives yeah what should i call it instead ozzy's uh Oses Horses, and mouths, and <laughs> oses and oses. Oses and noses. Uh, and eating a lot of burgers. I will. I, oh, I, yes. I, didn't, I never missed an opportunity to have. Well, I did. I had to sort of like expand my, my mm -hmm. food vocabulary a little bit, especially considering oh, yeah. San Diego is pretty much like it's kissing mexico it's it's so close like you can drive to tijuana you could probably walk there if you if you could be bothered but it, mm -hmm. it's so so close so there is a lot of mexican food um and oh, a lot of yes. really yeah you can get mexican food pretty much anywhere it's kind of like their bread and butter in san diego um it's really nice as well like you go to a bar we first arrived um on uh I got, again it's so confusing mm -hmm. i believe it was still wednesday the fifth i think <laughs> and um mm -hmm. we've been on a plane yeah <laughs> we've been on a plane for like 12 hours 13 hours and mm -hmm. the first thing you think to do is like we need margaritas so <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> all right <laughs> um but you know after after being stuck on a plane for so long you, yeah you need to go get drunk um well not not really but we we thought oh we'll go we'll go have a, a drink and a little snack at a place that i think was called something like is it bianca uh, tequila bianco or something or something like that i believe that's a chain in san diego there's quite a few of them about but um yeah big picture margarita and i think at the time uh we were like this isn't that strong and mm -hmm. then, you know, after finishing the picture, trying to like stand up, be like, whoa, okay, this was actually pretty, pretty strong. Um, but they, they brought tortilla chips to your table and they were like the most delicious tortilla chips I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Like freshly made, still warm, with a big, huge bowl of spicy salsa. It was brilliant. That, so that, feels, was like uh, that feels like an American thing. Well, I guess maybe other places too. I don't think in England... You usually get like a a nibble thing. Like in America, a lot of places you go to, especially Spanish restaurants yeah. and stuff, they'll just yeah. bring you chips and salsa. Like that's just yeah. you don't even have to ask for it. Or like yeah, um, yeah. a lot of places, like we were talking about Texas Roadhouse before, they just bring you the bread and butter. Like you don't even mm -hmm. ask for it. They're just like, here's the thing. Yeah, yeah. That was that was quite common actually. Uh, now that you mention it, it's mm -hmm. kind of like. A ritual thing of like you sitting down and it's like you have to have yeah water they bring you water instantly and yeah. i found that really weird because it's like in the uk you have to ask for tap water yeah um, 
but it's like they do it automatically and they come around and refill your your glasses as well so mm -hmm. uh yeah those kind of like a bit of a weird thing i wasn't used to kind of nice know. though right kind of nice it is oh yeah yeah i'm not complaining it was it was very good very good they love to use a lot of ice in the US as well. There's mm -hmm. like so much ice, an unnecessary amount of ice. We're hot here. We got it's hot and spicy. <laughs> We're, hot. <laughs> We're hot. We need ice. We need to cool Do down. <laughs> We we were constantly moaning about the state of condensation, though, coming off uh, mm. the glasses. Like it's dripping all over the place. Your tables just that's pissed so up. funny. Piss through with water um, and also other various like condensating liquids. Mm -hmm. How nice um, is it though that every mm. single place that you go into has aircon? How nice is that? Oh. oh, it's it's absolutely wonderful, and it's usually pretty pretty fucking good aircon as well. Mm -hmm. Like you, you walk past the door and you feel the the cool breeze coming from inside. It's pretty it's pretty weird. Whereas mm -hmm. the opposite way around here, it's like. You've got the cool breeze on the outside and then, you know, the stifling. The <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Damn you insulation in the UK, it's too much. Um, but yeah, that was like the first thing and it was we were like in this weird strip mall that was like very upmarket. It was mm -hmm. um the reason we went to this place is because it had in an in and out there and um this was like the only one in San Diego. Mm -hmm. Um which was, I don't know, kind of kind of odd. I, I don't know. I don't know how popular they are around. I don't know how many restaurants they have, but this was the only one in San Diego. Um, and it was sort of near this this very, very upmarket strip mall, and it was like Burberry and, oh, God, a, a Cartier. There was like all these crazy, like, mm -hmm. high-value brands. Um and then nothing else. And it's like, okay, it's just it's pretty weird. But um, anyway, we went to an in and out uh, This was just me and Sarah went here because we spent a lot of time in AT&T trying to get a SIM card. Mm. Um, so that's another another interesting part of this story. We were panicking because we were like, great, we 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 need to have some data for, for the US, mm -hmm. get Ubers and things. But anyway, after all that excitement, we went to the in and out and it was popping off there. It was like the the most place to be. Yeah. Apparently on a Wednesday evening, everyone was there, whether it was drive through or people walking in, and it was like a madhouse. It was so busy. We managed to grab a table. And uh, because this was like my first time ordering anything, like walking up to a person mm -hmm. and speaking to a person <laughs> and having to ask for something, I was like, what do I... I had to ask Sarah, who is a... American. Uh, she is an American. I had to ask, like, what what do I what do I say? And mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> I mean, shockingly, it's no different from the UK. But <laughs> <laughs> it was still like it's intimidating. Of, yeah, it is. It is like we speak the same language, right? But there mm -hmm. are a lot of cultural differences, I think. And I didn't want to ask for something. Weird. This funny one's asked us for this thing. They're saying in, <laughs> as they mock your accent. What did? What was your the first time you spoke to someone American with your accent? Oh, did they say anything? Or what was a specific moment you remember speaking to someone and them saying something about your accent? <sighs> that's that's interesting. Uh, TSA, they love a bit of a British accent. I must say, yeah. they were like, "Oh, where are you from?" Uh, from the UK. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Or the, they'll ask, are you from Australia first? Oh, really? Is, yeah, they very, very, um, very often, apparently, those are very interchangeable, the Australian mm. and British accent. Um, I can see it. I could hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, lots of, lots of comments. Like, I couldn't, this isn't like a, a flex or anything, but I couldn't walk many places without somebody saying, oh my God, I love your tattoos. Like, everyone was mm -hmm. so... Everyone's nice. friendly. Everyone talks to everyone, which is definitely a culture shock yeah. for me when I go somewhere. Especially yeah. like even like how big America is. I remember I went and I worked in New York um, for a month and it was from like mid late November until mid December. And I was mm -hmm. there and I was like waving at people or like saying hi to them when I passed them on the street. And I was like a freak. 
Because they were like, what the fuck? Why are you talking to me? Why are you looking at me? And like the people I was with were like, um, they don't do that here. And I was like, oh, okay. (laughs) Oh, yeah, it's it is very it's weird for me because I think as well, like in the UK, we are very much like keep not keep your head down but i'm i'm not an eye contact kind of person unless i'm speaking to somebody i don't go around like staring at people because it's like i don't know it can be kind of weird so people who were like like specifically um like speaking to me to comment on like the way i looked and it was Mm -hmm. always positive obviously no one would yeah no one ever said anything negative to me it was very very strange and yeah, there was like a few instances where people were like, "Oh, cool, you're from from England mm-hmm. or the UK." Uh, they, they, it it wasn't like they were hyped up to. wasn't like what I thought it would was going to be though, which is mm-hmm. like the impression of like, "Oh my God, do you know the Queen?" It wasn't. It wasn't <laughs> like that. Say bottle of water. Say uh, it. Of water. <laughs> Do the thing. So it wasn't. It wasn't like cringe. It was mm-hmm. just really. It was just really nice. It was a very nice interaction with every person that sort of commented on it, which was mm-hmm. which was great. Um, um. Oh, is this burger. It's got two patties on it. Oh yeah. And cheese. Is yeah. that an onion or an egg? This is an onion. So mm-hmm. I, when we went to In and Out, I decided to order the double double mm-hmm. because I've I've known about this this burgie. Mm-hmm. I know that one. Um, and I thought, hell yeah, let's get a double double. Mm-hmm. And so what it is is basically obviously the the bun, but inside you've got this weird, I don't know what it is, like burger sauce, I assume. Yeah. Uh tomato, lettuce, burger, cheese, onion, burger, cheese, and then the top bun. It was good. Um, this is like known as a lot of people's favorites on the West Coast as well. I think this and Shake Shack are kind of like the two. Yeah. The two main contenders. Um, And I didn't go animal style. And I didn't go animal style on my fries either. And I think a lot of people will judge me for that. Which one is the animal style again? Because we don't have In-N-Out or Shake Shack in Florida. uh, Let me find a picture. So I think it's basically where they just pile up a load of stuff onto your burger and fries. You don't have to have it on Mm -hmm. both. You can have it on one or the other. But basically it's like... Yeah, I think it's just like the burger sauce, onions, cheese, like all sorts of delicious, goopy, wet, mm-hmm. wet, all over, yeah. all over it. And um, yeah, I think that's basically what it is, like burger sauce, fried onions and cheese. Mm-hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anybody? Oh, yeah. Sweet onions, melted cheese and zesty sauce. Mm, OK, interesting. So. Yeah, I I didn't go animal style, but I think at the time I was like, you just did your fly and you're hungry. You don't need like, you probably don't need just to introduce your belly to a ton of grease, you know? Yeah, I think there was yeah, wet wet and grease. There was enough like here. Mm -hmm. The one thing I would say about it though, I I personally I rate it. I'm going to make a lot of people mad, I imagine, but I don't think it's as good as Five Guys in the UK, at least. Yeah. This wasn't juicy. It didn't taste like I was eating something that had drugs in it. Like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I usually think, like, Five Guys is, like, a really out-of-body, like... They're a good I burger. And f- oh. As much as they're expensive, yeah. they're a good burger. It is a yeah. good burger. For the price, in and out was, like... A fucking 10 out of 10. Don't get me wrong. But in terms of like solely based on taste, Mm -hmm. I think I'd go with Five Guys. And the fries are a little bit weird in In-N-Out as well. Maybe it's because I didn't go animal style. Mm -hmm. They're a little bit like powdery. Okay. Um, But weird. Sometimes Um, I think a lot of places they put like a a strange seasoning on them. And sometimes it's (laughs) like... I don't know. It has a weird taste to it, and it's just very powdery, maybe. Yeah, yeah, super, super odd. But I was very happy with my mm-hmm. first in and out experience. Sounds a bit weird. Mm-hmm. Um, don't take that out of context. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. But yeah, I think, I think for the hype that it gets, I have unfortunately had better burgers. But I didn't. Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean that it isn't 
superb. It belongs up there with the the greats. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm a hard burger boy to please, as you know. I'm quite a fussy burger with my connoisseur. Burgers. You could say that, yeah. You could. <laughs> um, then I think, oh my gosh, like again, this is like it's all a blur, pretty much. I don't mm-hmm. know what. <laughs> I don't know what day it is, but I remember going to, this was like the first breakfast. We went to a place called Breakfast Republic. Ooh. This was in the gas lamp quarter of San Diego. Got some home fries there. Oh, uh, yeah. So these, this is another th- weird thing, right? You get potatoes with every mm-hmm. breakfast. Mm-hmm. Um, of course. It's, it's super strange to me. Like you, you can get potatoes in the UK. They can mm-hmm. come in the form of hash browns. Or um, they're called something else with a Scottish breakfast, but they are kind of like cubed potatoes. So okay. I wasn't that like freaked out at the potato. Yeah. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't disturbed. It was just kind of odd how everything yeah. you know, had to come with these potatoes. So you call them home fries. Yeah, those, the cubed like uh, potatoes that come with a breakfast are typically, I think people call them home fries. Okay. But then also like when you order breakfast at like a restaurant like this and you ask for hash browns, it's not like a hash brown patty or whatever. Mm, it's yeah. like that shredded potato that they fry. Yeah. Whereas like if you go to McDonald's and get a hash brown, it's like a, a UK style hash brown. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not. F- yes, yeah, they, they look weird. Mm-hmm. Um, those are so good, though, the crispy ones. You'll see those when we do a Waffle House episode. Oh, okay. Awesome. But yeah, the menu was pretty, pretty big. Um, Yeah. Just going to quickly like show Boba on my screen what what the menu is. And they have like full specials. Mm -hmm. So duck hash is on there and cooking good toast, which I believe is a French toast with some fried chicken in it Mm -hmm. for breakfast. Some big portions too, looks like. Oh, yes. Yeah. I, although I would say I personally wasn't like outraged at the portion size, yeah. maybe because I'm just a like greedy bitch. She's a good eater, that O's. <laughs> I fucking love eating. And uh, I went for the breakfast Sammy on the mm-hmm. menu, which is Jurassic pork bacon, tomato, herb spread, egg sunny side up and sourdough bread served with house potatoes. Mm-hmm. And I thought, oh, it'll be a nice like lovely little sandwich, you know, like soft bread but no yeah. this the sourdough is like ripping the insides of my mouth oh yes that's an uh, that uh, yeah i know that experience for sure it hurts i mean but it was delicious and mm-hmm. i i pretty much ate the whole thing i think i might have left some yeah the some potatoes potato. usually get left over those are yeah. really good if you pop your fried egg that's sunny side up and get some of the egg on the potatoes mm, also very yeah. choice yeah, and there was like condiments on the table, so I think mm-hmm. there was like hot sauce and like this ketchup style hot sauce, which was really nice. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it was very good. Um, I also did things like uh, we got. I did really kind of want shrimp to go and grits. The, yeah, yeah. So I, I was very tempted by that, but I didn't want to like overbear myself with like first thing in the morning. I'm gonna go for shrimp and grits. <laughs> um yeah i got used to, i got used to this concept after like a few days but there's also um a breakfast burrito and i think i can't remember how many eggs were in it but mm-hmm. it was something like four eggs yes it was fucking huge um absolutely insane amount of eggs that... Ooh. What, 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 a pancakes what was this? oreo cookie pancake oh you would have been in your element here, i would I think. have look at that six or how many different types of pancake, buttermilk, Oreo cookie, bacon, churro, cinnamon roll, strawberry, cheesecake, lemon, coconut, pineapple, upside down, and a flight of three. You can choose three of the above. Oh, and then diff- a f- s'mores French toast. You've got me there. That's look- that sounds amazing. <laughs> See, I wish I was, a- I wish I was like a sweet mm-hmm. breakfast kind of person, but um yeah i didn't try the pancakes and i feel really bad because they do sound excellent but mm-hmm. i'm in the morning especially i'm very much like i need the same toast mm-hmm. yeah toast toast and eggy um also very interesting trying to order tea yeah um, oh my gosh <laughs> i can imagine they probably so thought you they... meant iced tea at first oh i actually forgot to mention this sorry you can cut this back into the in and out bit but 
I ordered it like a, a, a like an an iced tea mm-hmm. um, from In and Out, and I didn't realize like they just literally have like tea, and then you're supposed to put ice and lemon in it. Like mm-hmm. what? It's not sweet tea, but iced tea in the UK is always sweet. So I was yeah. really confused. I was just drinking like lukewarm tea. Yeah, and it was like what? <laughs> I, I I felt like I'd really like made a huge mistake because it was just like this sort of warmy yeah weird... that's strange because like if you go to a mcdonald's or something you can get a sweet or unsweet tea but you say which one you want however the sweet tea at mcdonald's is fucking way too sweet oh is it Ooh, but it does okay. come with like a lot of ice but also the thing about mcdonald's sweet tea or mcdonald's tea in america iced tea is that it comes in the biggest fucking cup ever and then it's only like a dollar. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I'll talk to you a little bit about the McDonald's thing. Cause I was, mm. I was like, one of my wishes for this trip was to go to a McDonald's. Yeah. Um, and not, not from like, oh, it's because it's like traditional or something. I just wanted to sort of see the, the difference. difference. Yeah. If there was any. Um, I think, and- um, I think McDonald's in America has worse quality than the uk like the nuggets and stuff i think are different yes, and i'm more likely nuggets. to order chicken if i'm gonna eat in the uk at a mcdonald's because i like a mackie's once in a while you know yeah yeah and just no. the quality is so different and in america i'm like Ugh. Mm, i fully yeah 100 percent. the chicken nuggets in the u.s are terrible yeah you, you need to get yourself over to the uk and try our chicken nuggets they are so, so much, much better. better yeah yeah um so yeah the ordering the tea mm-hmm. for breakfast i think i ordered like an english breakfast and i was very happy because it came in this sort of see it here it was in a big mug yeah which i like i do like a big mug um but i forgot to order the milk with it they didn't ask if i wanted milk mm-hmm. um and I had to nick some of Sarah's oat milk, which was kind of gross. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was like, poor Sarah. I don't. I like oat milk, but not in like an English breakfast. Yeah, um, it was like splitting a little bit. So mm, it not, does change the, it. Yeah, not the best. Like first instance of like having a cup of tea, which I like to have in the morning. Um, but yeah, it was it was a quality breakfast. It was really good and. Also trying to like figure out, I had to get Sarah to show me how to pay. Oh yeah, um, the taxes and the, that's another thing. <sighs> I fucking hate having to just, I'll just be like, guess I'm rounding this up to guess how much tax is on it. Yeah, and tax is yeah. different state to state. Like in Florida, mm-hmm. it's I think like what, 0.07%. So if something's $4, that means it's actually $4.28 or whatever the math is. I don't know. Right. Right. Yeah. It was very confusing um, to like to get or you see the price on the menu and then Mm -hmm. you're thinking it's I still didn't get used to it. I was like, I'm not actually paying this. I'm going to be paying more than that. Yeah. Um, And then when the bill comes, obviously, you have to like tip and like the tips and insane as well, which Mm -hmm. which is fine. But it's like, yeah, all these hidden costs everywhere, which is pretty strange um and then like literally putting your card down on the on the check Mm -hmm. and then they take it away Mm -hmm. and then they bring it back and then you sign it like five times and say how much you're gonna tip it's like eh? yeah it is weird i do i do prefer that stuff definitely in the uk too where it's like they bring the little machine to the table you tap it or whatever and you sign it and you don't have to tip unless you really 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 want to Mm-hmm. Yeah. which is it's nice because really not... it also just means yeah. that those people are being paid normal because in america yeah. it's like you're making like oh uh it's four dollars an hour and then plus your tips which tips oh, at shit. some place can be pretty wild but mm-hmm. then you know other places maybe not yeah yeah um yeah it's i think that's the thing as well like in the uk you you go in with like a budget of how much you you want to spend and mm-hmm. that's you can stick to that pretty easily whereas I felt like over in the States, it was kind of like, I, mm-hmm. I just don't know. I just don't want to offend anyone. I don't want to offend like yeah. not tipping enough. And it's very much like expected. They'll say, how much do you want to tip? Yeah. You know, is it 18 or is it 20 or is it 22%? Yeah. Like re- really high numbers. Like usually I'd 
go for 10 yeah in the uk at a push so it's, um did you order any uber eats while you were there like to the hotel or anything no no i didn't so uber eats as far as i know with like florida because of course state to state stuff is maybe different i don't know so when you mm-hmm. order an uber eats in the uk you get like a you get a delivery charge and that's it right mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. in america if you order an uber eats let's say you're like cost of your meal is $15 um oh, right. which yeah. is like the minimum charge to get free delivery on Uber Eats here if you've got the membership or whatever um then you have to pay on tax on top of that and then a tip is also pretty much mandatory so usually mm-hmm. if you spend the $15 to get the free delivery you have to mm-hmm. pay like 20 something dollars and it's oh, always my. just like Hush, i guess I have to, and it fucking sucks. Oh, it's so much money. Dude, it's it's crazy. Like, there's just so many things. Like, I think obviously a lot of servers um over in the in the US that don't have like the t- like contactless, like a few places we went to did have it. Mm-hmm. And it was like, oh my god, this is amazing. They let us itemize the bill. They let us split it how we wanted to. They let oh, us yeah. You know, it was it was amazing just being able to have the freedom to do that. But generally speaking, we were like trying to figure out how much each person owed with the tax and like yeah. doing it with cash. And you it's know. usually like if you go to America again, usually if you're like, oh, we wanted to pay separate, then they'll just be like, they'll usually split it for you, and uh-huh. which is different because when I go to the UK and it's like, oh, mm-hmm. we want to split it, they're like, okay, well you do the math. Where I'm like, what? Because in America, if you go to a restaurant and you're with someone and they're, they'll usually say, how do you want to pay? And then if you mm-hmm. say together or separate or whatever, if you say separate, they tally everything up for you. And they'll be like, oh. OK, so here's your check and here's your check. Because they'll be like, this person had macaroni and cheese and a cheeseburger right. and a sweet tea. So this is your total. And this person uh, had this. So that's I another didn't... thing. Maybe I didn't. Maybe we weren't like. At the best at communicating that then and that's something that i will bear in mind when i go in the future is saying can we pay separately because yeah and you can you do know, that at the beginning or at the end and they just do it for you which right, for okay. me when i go to the uk i'm like oh my god i let someone else handle it because i'm like yeah how much do i owe you guys do yeah, all yeah, your yeah. math and then you tell me how much is left over and i'll pay that and i'll pay yeah because yeah. like there's also places like um chilies or like applebee's which are horrible shit whatever they have a little uh touch screen at your table and you can order oh. through it and then you can also split the bill that way and you just tap the things that you ordered and oh. it tallies it for you which is like That's... so nice that is very nice um well this is why like when we got to vegas and went to a mcdonald's for breakfast mm-hmm. although what it was like lunch menu time uh we were never up very early but Mm -hmm. um going there and ordering something and being able to like order pay and that was it it was like this is great this is i like this it's so simple i understand this this sort of way Mm -hmm. um but now i know that okay we want to pay separately is yeah they'll just do it for you which is nice okay i don't think i've ever gone to a restaurant in america as far as i can remember where I said I want to pay separate and they made me do it because I remember getting to the UK and doing that and I was like wait how come they're not doing it for me <laughs> right yeah 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 I that's good to know I think I think as well like a bunch of English people and a Scottish person um mm-hmm. I think they might have like been a bit like oh I'm not saying that this is true but they might have been like oh look a bunch of scrubs they don't know what they're doing we can get we can get more tips yeah. out of them you know because they're just gonna they're just gonna round it up which yeah. is what we did a lot of the time we're just like fuck it just just take my dollars I don't know what we're doing yeah the money um, isn't real when you're somewhere else yeah yeah for sure um so yeah the overall like I say this <laughs> back onto this breakfast that mm-hmm. we had like the first breakfast it was great it was uh really good and this stuff as well like it felt really fresh and it, it felt pretty healthy although there is a distinct lack of any kind of vitamin c yeah <laughs> like there's there's no veg there's no fruit um yeah it's not usually the default on a lot of things unless you're looking at like the healthier choices part of the menu right yeah because even here like uh, okay i guess like the avocado toast would be pretty pretty mm-hmm. good to have for the you know some vitamins um 
but there's like very little in the way of like, meat. I don't know. It's all meat. It's your meat, meat and, and your cheese. Your yes, meat and it... your cheese and your carbs. <laughs> <laughs> and having like mixed veggies as mm -hmm. a as an option i can just imagine that being like you usually get like such a fucking shit little side a lot of times it'll be like mm. here's some uh green beans and some carrots and or maybe what? just like a broccoli's broccoli's <laughs> broccoli's broccoli's so strange yeah and there's like the seasonal fruit plate which is eight dollars yeah eight <laughs> mm -hmm. like, fruit is so expensive um but hey ho if we don't want to get scurvy then you'll pay get up. a seasonal f yeah pay up um all right i'm trying to think of another interesting place we went to i would say i had i did have another breakfast mm -hmm. uh this was at a place called fig tree mm -hmm. i think and i think it was like a sister restaurant of of breakfast republic um and I decided that it would be a great idea to get a fried chicken burger for breakfast. Because Hell yeah. Why not? And it came with truffle fries. Like, truffle fries are everywhere mm -hmm. in San Diego. They're just like, do you want to have truffle fries? Sure. Why not? Mm -hmm. um, and this was pretty good. Like, for a, for a breakfast kind of meal, this was, this was, this was great. I, I, I really enjoyed this... Um, this chicken fried chicken sandwich it's just like a brioche bun with a bit of fried chicken in it and some i guess they are pickles pickle slices but your pickle slices at least the ones that i've had over there they're very um not too pickly yeah kind of more on the on the cucumber end mm, i see i don't know again if that's standard but that was my experience so i was kind of like this could do with some more pickling see i'm <laughs> not a pickle person so i don't have uh, any opinion or knowledge on it I do not like the pickle. <laughs> and I think on this day as well, I was like getting into the motions of it. So I was mm -hmm. like, I'll have a chai tea latte and I'll Ooh. have a grapefruit juice as well, just to try and get some vitamin C into my body. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that's another thing as well. Like you get orange juice and it's freshly squeezed like everywhere. It's Oh, it's so delicious, mm -hmm. right? And the really avocados good. are so fresh too. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And there's a place that I did have an avocado and it was it was so nice. I mm -hmm. think your avocados are very good quality. Yeah, um, that's a big difference. I notice when I go to because normally when I'm at home in Florida, I'll be having like avocados for breakfast. And mm -hmm. then if I go to the UK and I get some, I'm like, oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, they they are they're oh. like, weird. Yeah, <laughs> they're not as good. And they're usually like, I don't know if we dye ours or something. Cause in, I feel like in the UK, they're like not as green. And they just start yeah. not as happy somehow. Yeah, they're they're a bit sad, aren't they? And they mm -hmm. they're a bit hard. If yeah, you don't get like they're all very different. Yeah, um, no no two avocados are the same, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh. But we also I think this was I can't remember which day of TwitchCon this was, but we went to a place called the Blind Burrow, mm -hmm. uh, which is a Mexican restaurant. Um. And. That was that was really great. The I'll just show you the uh, let's get a little menu up so you can have a quick look. Um, oh, oh gosh. Oh yeah. Here we go. So there was the very big choice of stuff, which was difficult to sort of wrap your head around mm -hmm. because there was so much. And uh, this was another place where they just brought tortilla chips to the table. Yeah. So and we were like, were they warm when you got them? yeah oh. oh so good they were so good um and they you know they keep, kept bringing them to you so you'd you'd finish them and they were just like here have some more and you're yeah. just like oh, I okay think, i don't know if they charge per tortilla chip or if they charge at all if you're getting a meal mm, it might yeah. depend on the place but i think it's usually either one charge or it's just you just get them because you're spending money on other stuff right but they were they were great and we also made the the um the error i would say of getting like a starter and a main here mm, this, yeah now now because i thought oh it's fine you know i can handle after you know talking a big game about breakfast and mm -hmm. saying oh it wasn't that big this was like next level i, yeah. I think i think three of us shared two guacamole uh tradition 
traditional, mm -hmm. which was basically just avocado, tomato, onion, lime, garlic, cilantro, housemade corn tortilla chips. So it was basically just like chips and dip, mm -hmm. along with also having more chips before that. I don't know what they were putting in these chips, but they were so... Oh, they go addictive. down so easy. And it's yeah. like you've not eaten any at all until after. And you're like, <laughs> you can I eat ate. every single tortilla chip in the basket and just keep eating them and eating them. They're like, they're just like air. Yeah, that was so good. Um, so we had like two portions of these uh, chips and dips between the three of us. And then we also got, I got personally lobster tacos. So I was oh, like, oh, that's Yeah, I was like, main lobster, mm -hmm. pico de gallo, garlic butter, green cabbage, avocado, and micro cilantro. I was like, damn, okay, that sounds pretty good. Mm -hmm. And I don't think, you know, I've not had a lobster taco before. So. Let's try it. And I'll show you the picture that I took of this. Oh. There's only like two little babies. Uh -huh. Like only two tiny little babies, but I couldn't finish them. I couldn't finish them. Oh my them gosh. Because of all the all the fucking fucking guacamole and chip I was mm -hmm. eating. Um and there was also a side of rice here that was like spiced really nicely and it was oh, it was really good. Mm -hmm. Um and like nice mexican beer diet coke with far too much ice once again mm -hmm. um but it was great it was really good um but yeah they had so much here that it was it was like how do i even choose like yeah. examples being you could get like bowl soups and salads you can get i mean what, a fresh catch battered or grilled local fish uh surf and turf mm -hmm. um all sorts of really tasty sounding things. So it was, it was difficult to choose, but um, I wasn't disappointed. And going back to the avocado thing. Oh God, what a was, beautiful green avocado that is that right there. Really good. Really, really nice. Um, I think I could, um, if, you, if you do another trip where you have like a place that has uh, carne asada, I think you should try <laughs> some carne asada. I think you would like okay. it. Okay. I, I'm pretty sure, is that like the just... Oh no, I'm thinking of cactus. Because I tacos. think, let's see, carne asada. Because on their menu, they've got it as like short ribs. So it's like, instead of being ground beef or something, it's like a sliced, Ooh. like short rib. It's very popular, but yeah. I should have gone for that. I, I, feel I think like... lobster taco is good though, because the other thing about America that I really miss when I go to the UK, especially living in a place that is, um, I've got the Gulf of Mexico on one side and the ocean on mm -hmm. the other. Seafood here is always so fresh. And mm. like our prawns, our shrimp, whatever, are always huge. And they're always yeah. so good. They don't taste too fishy. Like seafood is always really fresh, which I'm sure mm. San Diego was probably similar. I think it was. Yeah, there was a lot of um, like I've had I had prawns quite a bit there and, and mm -hmm. I never. They were massive. Yeah, like that's you... the other nice thing. Oh, they're so yeah. big. They're so big. Whereas in the UK, they're tiny, tiny little yeah. stupid babies. They're really dumb mm -hmm. and small. Um, but yeah, this was this was great. This was very good. It was very rich. Mm -hmm. However, and I, you know, it's like, whoa, I could have probably just had the one of these after having so much mm -hmm. chip and dip. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I underestimated it. But, mm -hmm. you know. That was fun. It was a great. It was a great time being in like a, a an authentic, I would say, authentic Mexican place. Mm -hmm. um, now this the next place. This was like a proper, a, like a sports bar we went to. Yeah, this is like a, a traditional sports bar, and I I can't for the life of me remember what it was called. Mm -hmm. And I really sad about it. But they were play. They were big. Um, I think there was a football game going on at the time. Okay. I think, or baseball, it might have been baseball, I don't know. It was some sort of sports ball happening. And it was very, lots of chanting going on, lots of mm -hmm. shouting. And there's the picture that I got of this place, there's just TV screens everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty crazy, like how many, how many TVs you need, like in one location. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that was quite odd for me. I was like, whoa, you know, usually... Yeah, you go to a pub in the UK and they've, they've got the football on, and it's like one one screen, one telly, and everyone's one crowded te around it. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
And again, I made the mistake here of like, oh, I'll get I'll get a starter. Yum, mm -hmm. yum, yum. And I got these, I think they were like garlic, pepper or, or something. Mm -hmm. I can't remember now. It's but it was chicken wings and they were like fried, peppery, salt, mm -hmm. gar garlicky chicken wings that came with a ranch dip on the side. And I kind of expect like, oh, chicken wings, you know, they're going to be like small, mm -hmm. sort of like easy, not not too filling, you know, might get three or four. I think there was like eight of these chicken wings. Yeah. It was like, And we pump shit. them full of shit too. Like we pump <laughs> those chickens up, dude. Those chickens are swole in America. Yeah, they were they were big. These these wings were huge, mm -hmm. and I don't think I could finish them. I think I had like two or three. Yeah, and I was like, oh my gosh, I could feel a headache coming on from all the salt. Oh yeah, that's already. a big thing too. I think yeah. too, like with starters here in America, oftentimes I'll just order a starter as what I want to eat because the yeah. portions are still big enough. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I, f I found that happening um, as sort of I got a bit more into the sort of size of things. There was occasions where I was just like, no, that's a starter of mac and cheese is a full main size. Mm -hmm. it's, pretty, yeah. it's pretty crazy. Um, and I also got a burger from here. Yes. Oh, and th this was like a very nice, just a traditionally just a traditional burger it was just a burger with cheese lettuce tomato and onion on a brioche bun and it came with fries and yeah it was really good i think this was also another weird thing is that they ask how you want your burgers to be cooked like everywhere you go yeah which isn't normal in the uk because of like food hygiene laws here you hmm. can't have rare meat unless it's freshly ground yeah, it's pretty pretty annoying because I like my meat pink. Mm -hmm. um, and this place was like, it was really it was really loud and noisy, but it was also just like a a cool experience. I don't know, it was, it was really mm -hmm. fun. Um, and yeah, just ate too much once again. Yeah, and I see your chicken and... wings in the background of this <laughs> photo too. <laughs> yeah, it was the, on the left chicken wings, but it was good because as more people joined us, I just palmed my my leftovers onto yes. mm -hmm. people that hadn't eaten yet. I was like, oh, here you go. You don't have to pay for anything. It's cool. I got you. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this was this was really good. Um, like surprisingly high quality just walking into a place like a bar. Yeah. Off just like, I don't know, a street. You're just walking down a street. And you're like, that place looks like it's got seating and air conditioning, which everywhere does. But mm -hmm you know, looks good, let's go. And then it's like, oh, wow, the food's really, really good. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't really go to a place where I thought this is, I mean, it could be because of the place that we were, but mm -hmm. didn't actually have a bad meal. So that was pretty awesome. Yeah, you're in some pretty big, like, touristy areas. So I think right, it's pretty reliable with food quality because there's definitely some places in... America just all over where if you're like oh I'm in this area and I'm hungry I'll just walk into this place and then it's like no yeah but yeah, the yeah. touristy areas I think are good yeah for sure um there was a, a day that we had ramen for breakfast mm -hmm. that was very nice um Ooh, was, that looks delicious yeah it was katsu ramen and I kind of regret this now I regret I think I regretted it after I ordered it because I was like hmm it's just basically like a very runny curry with yeah. noodles in it. But it was it was still really delicious and they had amazing sushi. Holy shit. Like also the thing about the fresh, freshly caught fish stuff. Mm -hmm. You can tell that it's very fresh because all the sushi tastes like Oh, so amazing. delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. UK, mm, it's hit or miss yeah. with, with the sushi thing, I think. Um that was good. Pretty pretty standard. I think I got pot stickers as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't resist a pot sticker. She loves them and dumpling. Oh, I do love dumps. Oh yes. Uh, we went to this was another very fun place. This was a place called uh, Fogo de Fogo de Chao, mm -hmm. which is you. Do you remember our first meal out that we had together in the Brazilian yes. barbecue place? Mm -hmm. Well, this was one of them. Oh my goodness. Um, However, we were we were a little bit perturbed. Mm -hmm. The meat boys were not coming round 
thick and fast enough for our liking. I see. Yeah. Um, however, there was like this kind of like the the Pizza Hut salad bar situation. Yeah. <laughs> where you, you go up and you just like help yourself to the, the sort of deli mm -hmm. providings and like rice and salad. And my favorite part of this was there was a huge lump of cheese that also contained many, many slices of manchego. Ooh. And they had, I think, they had to refill it after I'd been there. I had so much cheese. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they were like, oh, God, she's she's here. Cheese girl is here. Just wiped um, them out. Yeah. So it, that was great. There was sort of like, I mean, they had like really expensive cuts of steak that you could get, like Wagyu beef if you wanted to pay extra. Like Wagyu, Wagyu New York strip. Uh, you could also get a dry aged tomahawk. Mm -hmm. um, all all these like fancy cuts that cost you like an extra. Oh my gosh, I think it was like a hundred and fifty bucks if oh, you wanted to geez, try these. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it was it was great. It was it was pretty good. I don't know if I should mention this, but somebody had a stroke in the restaurant. Oh my as gosh, we were there. Christ! Yeah, wow. <laughs> oh my god, it was like I think we were we were just like happily like you know like oh this is good i hope we get fed more meat soon and then this person was like wheeled out on yeah. a stretcher and we were like mm, not feeling so hungry anymore yeah geez what a way to like really uh fuck the meal but uh, at the meat was, house at the meat house yeah, no less it was very very weird um but yeah really nice place i i wish i could show you like more of the inside of it mm -hmm. um it was super super fan it was very fancy like i've seemed very posh um and holy shit like the capacity of some of these restaurants in the u.s are just like insane yeah it's a lot yeah. hundreds of people all sitting down in you know one room is just like mm -hmm. bro how do they no wonder they missed out on us like mm -hmm. you know many oh, times oh yeah true <laughs> trying to beckon the meat boys to grace us with please, their... Please, meat boys, please. And then I think finally we had the last breakfast in San Diego. And this was, again, I apologize. I cannot remember mm -hmm. what this was. I think I, I said it was something like chamois or something. Mm -hmm. If you know where this place is, they do... Not that this is going to narrow it down, but they do big ass pancakes. Mm -hmm. um, this was a pancake Sarah got. And she was like, oh, I'm not really that hungry. I'm just going to get one pancake. And yeah. it was, <laughs> oh my God, it was, it was so big. A I think fucking she got, pancake. It's a fucking pancake. She got strawberries and bananas in this and it, it's, it fills the plate. Yeah. And, and it's a thick boy as well. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks and delicious we, though with some powdered sugar on it. And it's got that nice like golden uh color to it so good yeah yeah it it looked fantastic i don't think i did she she i think she may have offered for me to have a bite and i was mm -hmm. i'll show you what i had in a second uh, i was kind of like i'm good mm -hmm. um and for some reason sarah also decided to order a side of egg and bacon mm -hmm. as though she was going to be able to eat all of that yeah um, but she she couldn't but well, silly. You know, good, good, good effort, yeah. and also very amusing how they just gave her two tiny like pats of butter here. You need like mm -hmm. probably six for you this. Need the whole stick. This beast. Just rub yeah. it on there. Ooh, um, and I. My went goodness. For, I know. <laughs> I know this. So I decided that I go for a chicken Swiss this, melt. This looks like. An entire entree salad with yeah. a like a panini on top of it. Yeah, yeah. It looks like the salad is exploding out of. Yeah, the I couldn't tell how you were supposed to eat it because the sandwich is just on top of the big, 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 big salad. Yeah, the salad was comically large, um, and I felt really bad because the choice of so you know you could have fries or as they put it, a side salad. Yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, a side of what? Oh, whose side? Like, a whole team of yeah. salad. It, it, was, it was absolutely comically huge, and um, it was really nice. It was, like, a really nice salad, and there was, like, this green dressing 
I don't know what that could be. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure what it was. Maybe like um, um, an pesto. avocado lime or something. Or Ooh. Yeah, I can't remember what it tasted like. Mm-hmm. It was good. It was good. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of salad. Um, but the, the the main sort of event here was probably some of the nicest chicken I've ever had. Just like mm-hmm. it was just basic roasted chicken, grilled chicken um on like this really tasty white bread that had obviously been fried with butter mm-hmm. um topped with tomato onion lettuce and cheese like swiss cheese melted all over it and it was so good it was incredible mm-hmm. oh amazing i did also get a cup of tea from this place as well um but the hot water this is my 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 sort of criticism of the US, mm-hmm. like the 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 water's not boiling. It's like like kind of it's like hot, but it's not mm-hmm. hot enough to steep a tea bag in. So mm. you're trying to get flavor out of a, a a sort of hot moist tea bag. Yeah, um, but it's not hot enough. So I would yeah. wonder it, how they prepare it because. People, I would say that a hot tea is probably very low on what people order. So, like, maybe they just don't have, like, a kettle or something. Yeah. And maybe, yeah. It was just, like, an urn that they had out that you had to, like, fill your own cup with. And they'd occasionally bring out more hot water to fill up the urns. Mm -hmm. Which is strange. Because, like, if you get, like, a hot tea in Starbucks or something, they, of course, have their coffee machines have boiling water that come out of them, too. So theirs Mm -hmm. is, like, super, super hot. But I think in most restaurants, unless tea is, like, a gimmicky thing with them, are probably Mm -hmm. not going to have, like, the facility (laughs) to make a good cup of hot tea. Yeah. And I should have learned this by now, but I was so desperate just for a... Just for a cup of tea mm-hmm. it's just yeah. so desperate especially like i say in the morning that is my you know my 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 go-to drink but yeah uh everyone else went for coffee i was the only stupid idiot that kept trying to have tea here. <laughs> it'll work one day it's oh, I'll get it tea. right <laughs> please um and you can also see like the the hideously condensated drinks just like pissing everywhere mm-hmm. oh my gosh um but yeah also really nice weather here as expected really good juice and yeah it was it was great it was a very very good breakfast whatever it was called sh- schwampies or something yeah i don't know <laughs> do what it was schwampy. Called. schwampy let me know if you know where this place is in san diego please let me know um it was really really good um and I think I want to do some honourable mentions here because I mm-hmm. feel like I've talked for so long at you about what I've been eating and it's all been like hideously unhealthy. No, I love it. That's the experience. <laughs> I am interested sh- in this second to last photo. Oh, this one. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> so this was this was a trip out. So this was basically my flight home mm-hmm. and uh, we our flight was at, I think it was half nine in the morning from Las Vegas to, we had a stopover in Chicago. Mm-hmm. Um, so we had to be at the airport pretty early, but we were like, oh my gosh, security's going to be terrible. Let's get there like fucking ridiculously early. So yeah. checked out the hotel at like 5 a.m. And uh, made our way to the airport. We're there for like, I think we got through security in about 10 minutes. So we are like, great, we have four hours to kill pretty much. Mm-hmm. I couldn't even check my bag because we were that early they were like you need to wait oh my gosh <laughs> so, yeah <laughs> i was so early um but when we finally got through and everything we were like okay breakfast time sure why not okay let's go let's let's try wendy's i've not tried wendy's yet mm-hmm. and uh obligatory in the background you can see some of the slot machines just yeah. casually there in the airport nice. fucking weird fucking weird um And, you know, also having soda for breakfast is kind of normal, I would say. Yeah. Everyone loves a soda. Yep. Um, And this place as well, free refills. Love that. Mm -hmm. Just the machine out. You can just put whatever you want in there. Oh, there was actually a lady doing it for me, but I I wasn't mad. And she was, 
again, everyone is so nice. They want to have a, like a chat with you for like five minutes. Like there's no rush. Mm -hmm. And it's like, we're in, we're in an airport. Like yeah. <laughs> there surely is some rush yep. going on. Um, and I, I'm trying to remember what I had. And also, I think it, I should note that we do have Wendy's in the UK, but they are so few and far between that yeah. you never really come across them, like, just randomly, whereas Wendy's seem mm -hmm. to be everywhere, you know. Um, what I did have oh, was a the bre Baconators. Yes, I had a breakfast Baconator, which, to those who don't know, is grilled sausage, American cheese, applewood smoked bacon, a fresh, cracked, free-range egg, deep breath, more cheese and more bacon all covered in our signature cheese sauce mm -hmm. the baconator is the way to go for lunch or for breakfast right it was fucking great it was really good mm -hmm. and you know this was probably one of the one of my favorite places that i ate at i think and this was an yeah. airport um so i i don't know if i'm like weird for thinking that but Hell yeah, Wendy's. Wendy's like, is not bad, yeah. Fuck yeah, I, lo I loved it. I, it was really good. Uh, I didn't get the best picture of this. This is <gasps> fucking I weird. I thought it might be that. <laughs> it's a it's a, uh, biscuits and gravies. Is that Hell from Wendy's then? Yes, okay. it is. So you can sort of see where I've put my fork in into the biscuit in this picture. It looks, it looks really kind of grim. Mm -hmm. Um when you look at this picture, but I was like, oh, they've got biscuits and gravy. I can't, I can't yeah. go. One, without... just one with, one to go. So getting one from fast food, I commend you for that. But this one doesn't look actually all that bad. Okay. So what's, what's, what's usually like the fast food experience of getting a biscuits and gravy? <laughs> so this one that Oz has is like, what looks like a pretty good biscuit or scone. Um, mm -hmm. And it's got like the white sausage gravy all over it with bits of sausage. And then you can see like the seasoning or pepper in it. And the gravy is a nice creamy white. Whereas mm -hmm. I feel like if you get a really shit sausage, uh, sorry, a biscuit and gravy, the gravy is somehow gray. I don't know why. Ugh. And then the biscuit is usually like either too hard or it's complete mush. So this one Ooh. looks okay because it's also got like the bits of sausage. This does not look mm -hmm. bad, biscuits and gravy-wise. Honestly, it was fucking great. I finished the whole thing. Mm -hmm. The there, gravy there is two... so good. Oh, it was it was just like I was I was shocked at how delicious it was. Yeah. Again, because it, it to look at, it does look kind of like mm -hmm. slop. Uh, sloppy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but I was so surprised at how fluffy these biscuits were. They were so fluffy and mm -hmm. soft and yeah. just like, oh they were amazing and even the sausage pieces in here were like they weren't gristly they weren't chewy they were just like mm, mm -hmm. that's a nice tasty little meaty morsel mm -hmm. so good so yeah i finished the whole thing 100 percent would recommend wendy's biscuits and gravy really Hell yeah. good if, if you've not ever had it <laughs> if you're if you got an aversion to biscuits and gravy try try wendy's especially in um uh las vegas airport mm -hmm. what's it called oh no that's chicago o'hare i've mm -hmm. forgotten what it's called but anyway, well, i don't great. know uh it was great really really good um i think as well i got some alongside this they like to combo up with everything so mm -hmm. they're like do you want some potatoes with your yeah with your meal i'm like fuck it sure okay mm -hmm. <laughs> so have all this food that i'm not able to finish but i ate the baconator and i ate all of this yeah. i didn't eat my potatoes so i think i could did a good job i ate like two meals yeah geez but i'm glad you did get a biscuits and gravy because that Thank is very you. much the like the UK thing where they're like, oh my god, what a travesty. Is it a travesty, mm. Oz? Hmm? Is no, it? No, no, it's, it's absolutely... How do I even put it into words? We need to get brilliant. on this. It's, it's fucking brilliant. It's fucking wonderful. Everyone mm -hmm. should try it. It's really, really good. Um, and then this was the last thing I ever ate in the U US mm -hmm. before flying home. This was in Chicago's airport. And uh, I was like, I've not eaten in, I don't know, a couple of hours. Yeah. <laughs> so is it's that time a for another meal. This is a McDonald's. That looks really good for a Mackey's too. A quarter pounder I... with cheese? Is that it? It's a double quarter pounder oh with cheese. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's a burgy girl. Fucking absolute 
what is wrong with me? Just like I have had so much meat. You are this trip. such you are so brave for doing <laughs> all this meat and this food mid like flight and also like between airports and stuff. Because for me, I'm like, oh, you know, I've got to be on this plane and I don't want to like shit myself or something. <laughs> I don't shit myself oh, ever, no. but just the like the yeah, idea well, of having a greasy I, meat, I'm afraid of. <laughs> I, I can completely understand and empathize with that. But I think I was beyond the point of caring. I was yeah. like, you know what? I don't, I don't care. If I shit, I shit. You yeah. know, it's all worth it in the end. Mm -hmm. My poor, poor tummy full of you know, some really lovely quality food like the lobster and avocado and mm -hmm. then, you know, to the depths with the the uh, double quarter pound with cheese. you got to do it. You have to. But you are right. This is a very nice looking burger. And it was. It was so good. I was... It was hot. It was fresh. It was mm -hmm. juicy. It was just... Oh my God, it was perfect. It, it was what McDonald's should be. It was fantastic um 10 out of 10 chicago airport chicago hair you you got it you got it right the, hell yeah one of the one of the best mcdonald's i've ever had um and also i would say mcdonald's prices i think are slightly cheaper in the u.s mm -hmm, could, that makes sense I, yeah i think uh like i found it hard to sort of push nine dollars yeah in the in the u.s Whereas in the UK, like I'm a fifteen pound plus kind of order. Yeah. Like I just keep I just keep ordering stuff. Whereas... Well, we've got the dollar menu in America too on McDonald's. Uh, right. We do have the savers menu in the UK, but it's mm -hmm. eh, I wouldn't say it's necessarily like cheap cheap. I mm -hmm. wouldn't I think it's over like a pound to get something sometimes. Yeah. Um but yeah, this is great. I also got a large Coke in a McDonald's in uh vegas and mm -hmm. holy shit it was fucking massive <laughs> yeah <laughs> i think this is, is like crazy speaking on like the prices and stuff i think this is pretty telling because in america especially in like the poorer areas and stuff or if your family is poor like mm. you can get so much food at mcdonald's for so cheap that i feel like mm -hmm. it's pretty easy to get into that habit especially if you're like okay you know this cheeseburger is a dollar, so I can get like quite a few of them and I can afford yeah. that. So Yeah. And you know, like generally I would say it's it's pretty good. You know, I've Yeah. I, I said I did mention like the chicken nuggets not being so great, but the beef products mm -hmm. are pretty pretty spot on. Um I couldn't tell the difference between like I you know for instance, I think I had just a regular cheeseburger in the one in Vegas, and I couldn't tell the difference really. Mm -hmm. I, I maybe would sort of agree with you in like the quality is sometimes a bit better, but yeah, this was this was fucking like a ten out of ten McDonald's. Mm -hmm. This was so good. Um, yeah, it was it was really really nice. Um, I feel like I'm gonna have to do another episode on yeah. the, buff the the buffet in uh, Vegas that we went to. I'm excited uh, to hear about it because just this has been really fun to just listen and like, you know, get your experiences on because there is a difference between oh, yeah. the two countries for sure. And I'm glad yeah. you had pretty much only positive experiences with the food because that's also good. Yeah, absolutely. Like I again, I think it shows like where we were, you know, mm -hmm. it's they're a major city like San Diego and obviously then going to Vegas. Um you know, I I I think we were in the right place for good food. Yeah. Um. And also, I feel so bad because I didn't go to the Cheesecake Factory. No. I kind of <laughs> don't feel bad. I know you looked at it. I'm so glad that you were not made to go in there. Uh, I mean, there was a few people that we were with that were like, "Come on, yeah, let's go. Come on, it's gonna be great. We've mm -hmm. got to do it." And um, after sort of like. You know, I did say, well, Boba and I looked at it. It doesn't look too great. And yeah. I, d I don't know. I think we I think we had caused a stir a little bit with the Cheesecake Factory one as well. I think people are very, like, really very fond, very fond of the Cheesecake Factory. They've got so. strong feelings for it, huh? Yeah. I so, don't know. Well, it might require us to go together yeah. at some point in the future and we'll, we'll be impartial a to revisit. it. A revisit. <laughs> I'll go, you know, I'll I'll mm -hmm. I'll take the hit. Um 
one place that I was interested in going to was P.F. Chang's. Like, they're everywhere. Mm, yeah, and they're pretty good. Yeah, so I hear they're, like, good quality, like, Chinese food, and you mm -hmm. get a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Um so yeah, there's there's so many. I was just in awe at how many how many places there were to eat. You could not be hungry in the states. Like yeah, you, you're stumbling over restaurants constantly. Seven Elevens are everywhere. Mm -hmm. CVS is a, an experience in itself, and yeah. so is Target. And I feel like I need oh, to talk Target about was both. great. I love Target. Uh, Target. We we went to one in Vegas, and then even Sarah was like, "This isn't the true Target." Like, yeah this is a shit target and even i was impressed yeah they're so um they're so good we'll hear about hmm. it we'll hear about it on the next one yeah, i'll be excited so we'll do a I'm las like... vegas one no no sorry i'm happy to listen i love it this and it's good <laughs> to have i think like this is off our formula but i mean this is worth it for sure mm. it's so mm. good and i'm sure everybody's excited to hear about like you know comparing and contrasting between the two yeah yeah well i hope you have enjoyed listening to it and i've loved it uh, wait cool. are you asking well, me or are you asking everybody? i'm asking i'm asking you and the audience okay. but let us know yes let us know but <laughs> i i hope you have enjoyed it bo because i feel like i now have more of a i feel obviously my experience is no nowhere near as 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 vast as yours but i i feel like i'm you know, I, I got I got a little taste of what it's mm -hmm. like to eat in the U.S. for sure. A little and, jet and I was, setter, a little yeah, traveling girl. I will travel just to eat meat, mm -hmm. and it was and it was great. So yeah, you've done a good job, America. I appreciate I appreciate your food. I think you know. Hell yeah! I think I think you do a good job, especially Wendy's. Holy shit! Keep it up, Wendy's. Mm -hmm. Love you and your biscuits. All right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyway, uh, thank you so much for listening to me uh, waffle on about food. Yeah. And Boba, thank you so much. Um, we'll be back again very soon with, the, with something else or something the same. We'll have to see. Thanks for listening, everyone. We'll see you next time. <laughs> the big pause. <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.